Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Probably about a week or two now, actually. But today I thought I would show you how I keep or sort through my mealworm colony. I'd also like to show you how to start up your own if that interests you all. So, so keep watching. So, here we have my original critter keeper where I had my mealworm colony. It's gotten so big now that I'm actually using a second small container here because I have too many generations of mealworms and their beetles. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually just sorting through this original container, taking all the beetles I can find out of the container and moving them into this one. So what I want to do is have only mealworms in here, beetles in here. What I'm going to have to do soon after that, after about three or four weeks, I'm going to have to take some dead beetles out, take all of those beetles out, and move them into a new container I'm going to have to buy, which will probably cost me like two bucks or something, and wait, and there'll be tons of new mealworms in here. So basically you're shifting or moving the beetles from container to container, and you have an endless supply of mealworms. Lots of people say, ooh, yeah, keep your mealworms in the fridge and it'll last real long. Personally, I think that's kind of dumb because mealworms are so easy to breed. You can do it nearly by accident. So what I'm going to do here is just tell you quick how to do it. Um, for those of you who've seen my breeding superworms video, you need the same substrate, a whole wheat bran. I actually recommend that you go to Bulk Barn. I've been doing that now, and I have a viewer who also mentioned this to me. I thought it was kind of funny because I would just started doing it, and they did too, and they said it was a good idea, and yeah. Well, yeah, Bulk Barn is probably the best place to get your whole wheat brand because it's so cheap compared to buying, like, for example, what I was purchasing before is the President's Choice brand, and yeah, the Bulk Barn brand is so much cheaper. So just to give you guys an idea, of how well my colony is doing. What I'm going to do here is just... Oh, some beetles. I'm just going to shake this here. And then you guys can take a look at that. I don't know if you can see, like, the whole... Ah, this camera isn't really that amazing, but... All the bran is moving, and that's all little mealworms. Let's see if I can... I don't know if that helps. Not really. Remember where you see brand moving? Those are little mealworms, and there's just tons in there. So yeah, what uh, what you do is you just have about two or three inches of brand in a critter keeper. Put some wood in. This is pointless, but I just threw it in there. This is a good piece. I put wood. Some people use egg cartons. I start off or started off with. 500 mealworms, bought them in a reptile show. Mealworms are usually so cheap, you can order them online, your local pet store should have them. It's not it's very easy to find, so just get uh, as many mealworms as you can to start off with. Just keep them the way you keep supers. Throw in some lettuce, it's probably the best thing you can use because if they don't eat it, it dries out, doesn't mold. Carrots, alright too. I avoid some people use orange. I avoid that because it molds. Uh, potatoes sometimes molds. Even carrot you have to watch out. The best thing to use is lettuce. But if you have enough and you know they're going to eat it, you can throw in some different veggies too. I use carrots and lettuce. They usually dry out without molding, so it's pretty safe. Because if you, if you get mold in there... Well, I said if a lot there. <laughs> okay, well, if you get mold in there, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's not good. It's like doomsday for your colony. I mean... It depends how much, of course, but usually you're fine, but sometimes if it's enough, it can take out a large number of your mealworms, so, yeah, just make sure your colony's fine. Don't use fruits and vegetables that mold easy, so not too watery, not a high water content, aka no cucumbers. Yeah, I guess you guys get the picture now. So yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm just sorting through... Going through here, picking out dead beetles. Mainly, I'm looking for the live ones right now. And once I've found most of them, I just dropped them into this container. And, yeah.
kind of a pain in the butt because there's so many and lots of dead ones too. And the moment I lifted the uh, main container, they all started digging right into the brand, so it's like impossible to find them. But I got most of them in here now. Most of them are all in here. They're all hiding in there. A lot of them under here as well. And yeah, the fresh malted beetles are kind of an orangey tinge, and then they turn almost or just about completely black once they're mature. So yeah, I'll just let them do their thing. Hopefully you can get more melons out of them. Another beetle. Oh. So yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this video came in handy a bit. It was a bit confusing, but hope it was alright. Not too bad. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Um, as I get closer and closer to examination time, it's going to be a little harder for me to answer you guys ASAP, but I'll try. Uh, for now, I'm doing, I'd say, a pretty steady job at answering your questions as fast as I can, and I'll try to keep it up as much as I can. Also, keep in mind, the warm weather is pretty much here in Canada. I mean, take a look at that. I'm just growing all these plants here. It's great. Leaves are finally growing on the trees. yoo -hoo! They're really coming. So, you know what that means. Herp season. Herping season. Looking for reptiles. Not herpes, obviously. <laughs> Herping season is starting, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going out there and looking for frogs, turtles, you name it. Snakes. So, get ready for that. Hopefully, a few of my buddies and I will be going out there. So, yeah, if you guys like watching videos of people trying to find reptiles, and keep up to date, because it's coming your way. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.